Hi everyone, I'm Jake Denhart, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my career journey and a couple lessons I learned along the way. Today I work for Salesforce.com, which if you were from Indianapolis or anywhere out in San Francisco, you may be very familiar with the company, but it is a cloud-based CRM software company focusing on improving customer success using software that you rent versus what you buy. And if you're anything like me, the first time you hear that, you're like, well, what are you talking about? So a couple examples are, if you were more marketing focused, think of some of the emails that you get online where online shopping is targeted advertising using analytics. So you may have looked at something in the past and it understands your buying habits and then you magically get an email that looks pretty similar to what you've been looking at in the past or maybe something service focused where you have an issue with something that's broken. You call a help hotline and you start to talk to a customer service agent that may understand whether you're under warranty or might have some troubleshooting tips that rather than pausing the call, moving you to someone else, or taking as long as you may have seen in the past, they get real-time data that understands exactly what your problem is, and within a couple of minutes, your problem is solved or the customer service agent is already there. So that, that's a little bit about Salesforce. So within Salesforce, I actually am in the finance and strategy portion of the company focusing on traditional FP&A, which is financial planning and analysis, where you might manage multiple budgets or focus on financial analysis of company initiatives that are based on company values, strategy, and shareholder financial return. So that is a little bit about what I do now, but I, I think what I wanted to focus on is more of what I learned in college kind of where I you know, initially went after college and then how I eventually got to Salesforce you know, two and a half years later. So I went to, so I guess I, I grew up in Indianapolis. I went to college in Purdue. And as you would imagine, it was no different than most people where I thought I'd go into engineering. I wanted to get an MBA. And now that I say stuff like that, it's like I already thought I had it and it was gonna be easy and you know anything was possible, which it is. So I went to Purdue and I started in engineering freshman year. And over the course of four years, I went from engineering to liberal arts to finance and finally graduated in finance after four years, not anywhere where I thought I would be. So I guess my, the, the first story I would tell is to keep an open mind anytime in college. You know, I, I think that it's the time to figure out what you're good at. And I think when I was there, people always said, follow your passion. And I never really knew what that meant. And to me, now that I've been there, done that, that your passion is really what you're good at. And I didn't even know what I was good at until I went through Purdue, I got into my first job. So really it, to me, it's, it's keep an open mind and just know that you naturally gravitate to what you're good at and that becomes your passion. And you'll find over time, that's where you will be. While you're in college, whether it's your classes that help you find your passion, or you may have the opportunity to get some experience with an internship, that's a really great way to understand, one, do you like that type of work? And two, can you work with those types of people? Because you'll never be happy in a job if you don't love who you're working with. And that's that's really how I got lucky when I, I got into my first job. So after I went through you know engineering, ended in industrial management and finance, I went to the career fair after being an intern at GE and knowing I didn't want to be in engineering. And I ended up, you know, talking to a company, Procter & Gamble, I'd, I'd actually never heard of in my entire life. And I, I just loved the people that I, I interviewed with. And, you know, when I started to research p and I, I learned that their brands were Tide and Gillette and Bounty and Pampers, Crest and Oral-B. And I learned that I actually had heard of PNG almost every single day as they're the number one marketing company in the world based on dollars spent. So that, that's where I started my career. I After I graduated in, in West Lafayette, I moved to Cincinnati and I worked for PNG and my brands were Crest and Oral-B, where I started in commercial finance, where I had the opportunity to, to travel the world and truly understand, you know, what is financial analysis? What is a cash flow model? I never really understood what that was and why companies used it. So I was able to work with 
everyone around the world. I had actually never traveled outside the U.S. And having the opportunity to, to go to Europe or go to Canada was some of the coolest things to understand from a cultural standpoint. You know, so many countries are so different than the U.S. And to have an open mindset there as well, you know, is, is really crucial if you want to be in a global company. After I was in commercial finance at P&G, I went into cost finance, which is understanding manufacturing and pretty much just cost improvements, which, as you would see, would be more of your artificial intelligence automation at a plant. How do you become more financially sound in a more cost effective way? So I, I absolutely loved P&G, primarily due to the, the people I worked with. I had some of the greatest friends. And, you know, looking back now that I'm back in Indianapolis, I think about the impact of moving to a different city, living on my own, meeting all those new friends and, and really seeing how happy I was doing all that. I mean, I absolutely loved the two and a half years I was with P&G, learning to live on my own, you know, traveling the world with a company where I had never traveled by myself before. And, you know, I, I, I can never be more thankful ever. And, you know, it came to, it was last September, I got a call from another company, um, Salesforce, where in finance, you really have corporate finance, you have three different opportunities, commercial finance, cost finance, and then FP&A, which is more of your managing a budget. It's basic analysis of certain initiatives. And I, I looked at myself after they reached out and I was like, you know, I, I, I still am in the, the constant learning phase of understanding what, you know, what am I actually good at? What, what do I love to do? And I wanted to get into an industry that was quickly moving along, quickly growing, and touch on the last component of finance that I had never done at P&G, which was at P&A. So in, you know, the last six months, I, I've now been at salesforce.com and I, I absolutely love it there too, because I, I'm a firm believer that as long as there's great people, you're, you're going to love it wherever you work because, you know, Salesforce is, is a great company as well. But I, I think where I'll leave this with you guys is once you graduate, it's really, it's time to figure out what you love. I, I never thought I would leave GE as an intern. I, I never even thought I would go to Procter & Gamble because one, I, I didn't even know what they were. And you know, after I took time to learn about them, meet the people, I knew that it was a great fit for me. And then I never thought I would leave P&G either. And I, I, you know, I'm at Salesforce now and, and loving it here too. So I, I think figure out you know, what you love, build the experience along the way. And, and as you go, if you figure out a new place you wanna be, whether it's as an intern, it's, it's entry level out of college, or you've got a job out of college and you're trying to get somewhere else, take advice from someone that's already been there in their career. And that will really help you understand the things that you need to do to get there as well. And whether you actually like that type of thing. And, and along the way, have fun, celebrate your success because you know, you're know you gonna have your ups and downs. You're, whether it's going to Purdue and not knowing what you're getting yourself into, moving away from home for the first time, or starting a career, not having any idea what real finance is in, in the workplace, celebrate your success once you learn and, and you will really be very, very happy. And just know that anything's possible. Don't be afraid to try something new. Just focus on what you love and, and make sure you help people along the way. Thank you.